my name is Richard Hans, and you are watching the video abstract for the paper Thinking About You, Theorizing and Testing You and Inverted U-Shaped Relationships in Strategy Research, co-authored with Constant Peters and Jerlin Ge from Tilburg University, the Netherlands. Our research was motivated by a recent surge in the investigation of U- and inverted U-shaped relationships in strategy research. Furthermore, researchers are increasingly exploring more complicated versions of U-shaped relationships by introducing moderating variables to these relationships. Our review of 110 articles published in the Strategic Management Journal identifies a variety of issues that warrant attention in future research. For example, to strengthen theoretical reasoning underlying U-shapes, we recommend that researchers build upon latent mechanisms that jointly drive the theorized U-shape. One common example in strategy research is the combination of a linear benefits relationship and a rapidly increasing cost curve. When this cost curve is subtracted from the benefits line, an inverted U-shaped relationship arises as the cost curve eventually overtakes the benefits line. We find, however, that out of 163 main hypotheses, 36% have insufficient theoretical underpinnings, and that 15% of articles actually only theorize one half of the curve, rather than the curve in its entirety. To test for the existence of U-shapes, we propose the use of a three-step method. First, one has to observe the sign and significance of the coefficient of the x-squared term. Second, the researcher has to formally test whether the turning point of the relationship is within the data range. And third, one needs to show that the slopes on both ends of the data range are of opposite sign as well as significantly different from zero. However, we find that very few authors go beyond an assessment of the coefficient of the square term. For instance, we find that for 64% of the main hypotheses, no turning point is reported by the researchers, which is problematic because we find that for 25% of main hypotheses, the turning point is close to or even outside of the data range, such that the seemingly U-shaped relationship may in fact be spurious. One novel aspect of our paper is the fact that we decompose moderation of U-shapes into two distinct moderation types, turning point shift and flattening or steepening. Building on our proposed method of theorizing based on latent mechanisms, one intuitive way to theorize a turning point shift is to argue that the moderator strengthens the latent benefits line. As can be observed here, as the latent benefits line strengthens, the turning point of the inverted U-shape on the right shifts rightwards. Similarly, the flattening or steepening of the curve can be theorized by arguing that the curvilinearity of the cost curve strengthens. As you can see here, as the cost curve's curvilinearity strengthens, the observed inverted U-shape becomes stronger. We find that 40% of articles exploring moderation of U-shapes have insufficient theoretical reasoning while 77% of articles contain a faulty link between theory and hypotheses, where the underlying theorization is incorrectly translated into hypotheses. In turn, this often leads to researchers to overlook fully developed theoretical arguments in their testing. Furthermore, we find that for 52% of moderation hypotheses, it is unclear which type of moderation is actually expected by the researchers. These issues appear largely driven by a general lack of awareness of the fact that two distinct types of moderation exist. Finally, we identify the existence of a novel phenomenon, where the shape of the relationship flips from a U-shape to an inverted U-shape, or vice versa. In this example, the curvilinearity of the benefits curve becomes stronger as the moderating variable changes, and as it overtakes the curvature of the cost curve, the observed relationship flips from a U-shape to an inverted U-shape. We discuss a particular theoretical example captured by this illustration in depth in the paper, where we also discuss how to identify shape flip as well as its implications and the research opportunities it offers. These examples are just a small set of the issues and topics that we discuss in our paper. Other examples and our full set of guidelines and recommendations can be found in the full article, published in the Strategic Management Journal.